great moments come alive on NBC Sports. With a blend of tradition and the latest in television technology, we're building tomorrow's memories today, right here on NBC. Today on NBC, it'll be the Mets and the Phils from Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. The Mets picked by many as the team to beat in the National League East. Or some of you will see the Toronto Blue Jays and the World Series champion, Kansas City Royals, led by all-star George Brett. And then from beautiful Hilton Head, Chris Everett Lloyd is among the semifinalists in the Family Circle Cup. But first, Major League Baseball, an inside look at baseball, and a preview of today's game of the week, brought to you by Honda Power Equipment, lawnmowers, lawn tractors, and portable generators made to last. And by Beneficial, when you talk to the man, you're talking to the boss. And a good afternoon, everyone. I'm Marv Albert in New York, and welcome to the start of NBC's coverage of the 1986 baseball season. And we are opening with a couple of attractive games. Some of you will see the Mets and the Phillies in Philadelphia. Steve Carlton going against Sid Fernandez. And these are two clubs that don't like each other. They have already had a couple of beanball incidents in spring training. In spring training. And some of you will see the champion Kansas City Royals go against the Toronto Blue Jays in Kansas City. Dennis Leonard, a three time 20 game winner going for the Royals a knee injury has uh, sidelined him for nearly three years so he is on the uh, comeback trail Dennis has had four operations the last three years he says he has a 35 year old head a 30 year old arm and an 85 year old knee We'll be switching to the ballparks in uh, just a bit for the voices of Vince Scully, Joe Garagiola, Bob Costas, and Tony Kubek. Uh, Bob, of course, coming off his successful co-hosting stint last night of uh, Friday Night Videos. Uh, next week, Bob will be touring with Frankie Avalon, uh, Bobby Rydell, and uh, Fabian. All right, this 1986 uh, baseball season got underway last Monday in presidential fashion. The traditional first pitch, a wild throw in Baltimore. But the second right on target, it was a strike. And then, with the pressure off, President Reagan settled down in the dugout to take in a few innings, sign a few baseballs. Super Bowl champion Chicago Bears coach Mike Ditka did his Jim McMahon impersonation, ruled his first pitch an incompletion. As with other opening days, there were some highs. On the three. And some lows. In Detroit last Monday, Red Sox outfielder Dwight Evans hit the very first pitch of the season for a home run. Now, this may be the first time this was ever accomplished. They are still checking out the record books. Detroit Tigers outfielder Kirk Gibson answered Evans' home run with two of his own. Gibson opening with two homers, five RBIs on opening day. And another first. Will Clark of the San Francisco Giants in his first major league at bat hit a major league home run. Another rookie, Texas Ranger pitcher Jose Guzman chalked up a win on opening day at his first major league outing. First rookie pitcher to do it since Fernando. In St. Louis, Ozzie Smith banned for the backflip. So his four-year-old son did the honors. Opening day excitement saw the Pittsburgh Parrot lose his head. But Montreal infielder Tim Wallach took the whole thing lying down. Perhaps the most bizarre first of the week, Yankee pitcher Ed Whitson blasted by George Brett. And once again, hearing it from Yankee fans, Whitson coming off last season's bad start and his hotel brawl with Billy Martin has been unmercifully booed by Yankee fans. So manager Lou Pinella said from now on, Whitson will only pitch on the road. And that appears to be a baseball first. Well, that is one side of this new baseball season, but could... Indianapolis has a rich heritage of baseball, and one night in 1973, we were out at the baseball park, Bush Memorial Stadium, and it was a Little League night, and thousands and thousands of parents and their uh, little little leaguers were there, and in the middle of the third inning, uh, we realized there was some kind of a ruckus, some kind of a commotion going on in the Indians' dugout, and we looked over, and Pedro Bourbon was just slapping the hell out of a teammate, and he was on top of him, and he was doing this to him, just both hands by the throat, just choking the life out of this guy. And uh, each one of those little leaguers, as they left, they all said together, this was the best night ever. Indeed, the walls may be closing in on that man. 
Uh, there are five other games going uh, this afternoon, and uh, we'll be keeping you posted with updates uh, during the course of the day right here on NBC Sports. Coming up, some of you will be seeing the Mets and the Phillies from Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia or the Royals and the Blue Jays from Kansas City. Thank you for tuning in. This is Marv Albert. Let's head to the ballpark.